you know? They're in, they're, the so-called white man is in the hall, that freaky nasty bullshit, and he got you two-third niggas uh, doing the same shit, okay? You got your woman walking around with her uh, mini skirt all fucking um, um, about to lift up. Yeah. Man, that's your fucking nakedness, you. You will fake it if you let your woman do that shit, walking down the street like that. Yep. You like, mm, you know, looking like a fucking clown, man, next to your woman. And that's that's a that's a that's that's a wicked frame of mind yeah. too, man. Got for your you woman. To, yep. Sorry, it's cold as fuck out this bitch too, man. Yep. That's 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 wicked, man. For you to actually just be cool and just walking down the street and your woman dinner got nothing on, man. Huh? It's like we're feeling your fucking naked. In, in 40 degree fucking 40 weather. Degree 40 weather, degree man. weather. You got your clothes on, you know, you bundled up with this bitch right here, just, just butt ass naked. Butt ass naked. Shivering and shit. For everybody to see her, man. And you cool with that, For right? another yeah. nigga to see her, you know she gonna get that nigga the ass. Another nigga gonna see her, go holler at her when you ain't looking. And she gonna fuck this nigga. You gonna be crying, wondering why, why my woman fuck another nigga, man. Yeah. Making videos on YouTube crying about your bitch leaving you because you let her dress like a slut walking down the street. Yeah, I seen that. Okay? I seen that. Yeah, yeah. Fucking crying on, on, on the joint about this woman and stuff leaving him and shit. Why she twerking? She's she twerking in the background. Yeah. 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 But he deserved that because he let his woman get out abroad. Right? That's what happened, man. Right? This is the living proof right here of what happened, man. Right? You, you let woman get out Check the bitch, okay? Right, 25. That's right, man. Don't let these devils sit near you, dog. Don't let them sit near you at all. Yep. Okay? They're gonna try to get you into that bullshit, into their homosexuality. Okay? Don't try to defend these faggots. Okay? Got a scripture for you, man. <laughs> okay, Genesis, I mean, uh, Sirach chapter 25, verse 23. A hey, wicked woman. A wicked woman abided the courage, make it a heavy countenance, that's why a nigga was crying, and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, make it weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage. Neither a wicked woman liberty to gad abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Mm, that explains it all, man. That's why they so fucked up over here. This, this place prides itself on liberty, man. That's why you got the Statue of Liberty over there in New York, man. They coming over here and they, they let me just... They got the liberty to do whatever the fuck they want, really. They be hoes, I'm going to be real, man. Women are basically kind of like over the law, man, in, in a sense, man. They are. They always do the law. Bounce them titties, man. Niggas, niggas can't do nothing. Niggas go, right. they lose their mind over that stupid yep. shit. You got politicians, got men of a, a, a great power, money and shit, falling because of a bitch, man. And I got there like hot time. Falling because of a, 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 a fucking bitch, man. You got it, man. She was on you, whatever you want. Somebody, a, 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 a species that's deprived of understanding, man. And logic. And logic. That, you, yo, that's, that's crazy. You got cats of great power falling to a, 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 a woman that's deprived of understanding and logic, man. That doesn't make any sense, man. Like the scripture says, many men have gone out of their wits for women, man. Huh? How did they damn wish? It, it goes back to Genesis uh, 25, 27, when it says, um, uh, Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. And now, now you got your, you got your woman, she's supposed, she's supposed to be one flesh with you. She's supposed to be staying in the house. And she just True. cook, clean, you know what I mean? And Jacob like everything in reach. He don't like to go out all everywhere, man. He likes everything in reach, you know, in his tent. You know what I mean? Okay. I don't, I don't and he ain't like Esau, okay? But now you got your woman gathering abroad and, and, and going every which way she want him. You got you know? your woman acting like the Edomite woman, right? You got your woman acting like the slut Edomite woman, okay? It's confusion. 
It's going against the word of the Most High. Verse 20, start at verse 22, go to 27. I got a scripture real quick. Uh, Sirach uh, chapter 26, verse 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. But every hedge... That's a thirsty ass bitch, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they always say that the men are thirsty, but the bitches be thirsty. In the most I see that. You know, that's, you know, let me go back some, since we're going to talk about that right there, all right? See, these fucking women, uh, let me put, let me turn it. These fucking women, all right, especially these hoes walking out here, these fucking women, they want sex more than men. Don't let them fucking fool you, man. See, the thing about them is, they just hide it. They hide it real good. A man ain't going to hide it, he going to be direct. Yo, I want to, you know, a woman, she going to hide it. All right, she you wanna... know what? I'm so, sorry. You're right, but that's that's in this country, man. Yeah. Because you know, they, they'll tell you, man, in other countries, women don't do that shit. Actually, they, they mostly close to the scriptures than anybody, man. Because what did the women do in, in the scriptures? When they wanted to be with a, uh, when they wanted to get a man, they prepared themselves for that man. And it wasn't no, okay, I'm gonna just play this cat and mouse game. Yeah. Sarah didn't play cat and mouse with her Abraham, huh? But she didn't do that, huh? Name, me other, name any of the other ones. They didn't play that little cat and mouse thing. I'm gonna act like I don't want to deal with him, but you know, he gotta do this and work for it. No, it didn't work like that, man. But over here, they do, like the brother is bringing out. You know, these women. These women scream sex, man. If you, in the spirit, they scream sex. Look at them. They sexually bust them. Yeah, the, the fuck, look at the clothes, look man. Look at the clothes, man. What's the first thing you got to do when you have sex, man? You got to take the clothes off. These women are damn near naked, man. Straight up. Funny, look. Come on. Dude. Funny part is... say the funny part about it is she'll be telling you about you know uh i want to have sex right right you know right. like they might have a profile or some shit and they on the profile be like if you're looking for sex don't talk to me but then you look at her damn profile and the first picture is her titties popping up out of damn shirt but she talking about don't talk to me if you want to have sex well, why the fuck is you advertising sex if that ain't what you talk what you want as far as advertising man and because she's a fuck because like the brother said <laughs> she's deprived of wisdom man well she gonna she gonna she gonna tell you that she don't want sex but her, her actions gonna show that she want it man that's fucking confusion man and that's that's why america is called babylon Babal, which is confusion. All right. I want to read this scripture. This is uh, Sirach chapter uh, chapter 25, verse. Uh, I think is uh, 17. The wickedness of a woman changes her face. Changes her face. And dark and darkness her countenance like sackcloth. All right. It says. Her husband shall sit among the, his neighbors, and when he heareth it, shall sigh bitterly. She'll be saying all this shit. Basically, they mask, they hide their face, they mask their real intentions, man. I love water. Okay. They want attention. Man. They want attention. They love. They want to have sex more than men, and they'll hide it with that stupid shit that they talking about, but their body will be talking different. They'll be with the big, with the titties out, the ass out, but they talking about, I don't want to, you know, uh, I'm not out here to have sex. I'm not looking for sex. I'm looking for a relationship. But bitch, you dress like a prostitute. So you must be looking for sex. All right, um, it says, uh, all weaknesses but little to the weakness of a woman, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Yeah, go ahead. You had something to say? Yeah, they were dressing like sluts. They were dressing with those skinny fucking jeans, skinny fucking tights. You can see their coochie and their man standing right next to them 
giggling. <laughs> you know, the most high gonna kill you niggas. Man. The most high is gonna kill you faggot bitch niggas. Okay? Two third bitch niggas. The so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Because the most high is dealing with you. He's gonna deal with you. And he's gonna give judgment to you. Okay, you're gonna receive that judgment. Okay? First Timothy 2 9. <laughs> in like manner, also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefastness and severity. See? Modest shame apparel, shame face, okay? Surprise. Modest apparel. These bitches don't wear modest apparel. God bless you guys, man. All right. Shake hands, okay. Shake okay. Hands. Cool, cool. God bless you. All right. Take it easy, wow. man. Yep, yep. Bryce lives, brother. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Art. First, uh, First Timothy 2 9. In like manner also, <laughs> that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame, fastness, and sobriety. Just like before that devil interrupted me. Okay? Because his heart is lifted up. He feels like he can just walk in the video and talk in, in front of the camera and stuff like that. Okay? But these bitches out here wearing skinny everything. Okay? Well, you can even, see that? even if they fat. Well, shit, hold on. Even if they fucking fat. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show this goddamn like shit. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. <laughs> Look at that nasty shit. See what I'm saying? It's the See what I'm saying? Wait, well, read that scripture it's again, huh? Looking like a big ass. Read, read that shit again, man. Read it. Hurry it's up. Like, in like manner, also, that women throwing themselves in modest apparel. There ain't nothing modest about that shit, man. Her big ass supposed to be wearing a dress, man. The well, ass cheeks. A poncho. She's supposed to be wearing a, a goddamn I thought she'd just be at jumpsuit, home. man. Get a, get a man with good eating habits. That's a nasty you know, of cottage cheese, man. Living cottage cheese. That was cheese, nasty, man. man. But like the brother knows reading, man. And modest apparel, man. I'm talking about, oh, I could do what I want, this and this and this and that. No, the scriptures have a take on what women should be wearing, man. They go, back, mean, they go back to that, to, to, oh, but to the down. The list. That's on the list. <laughs> that goes back to their policies, man. They said he, he shall destroy many through his policies. Their policies is that women should do what the hell they want to, man. And men should submit to, they, to what they want to do. So they could walk around with the cottage cheese ass. <laughs> instead, of, instead of listening to what the scriptures say, man. Because... So called white don't care. Hey, give me Psalm chapter 55, man. Yeah. yeah, give me that real quick. Yeah, get that, man. Cause they don't give a damn about the most high policies. What about the most high policies? They don't care about that. The most high say in uh, the New Testament through the through the uh, apostles and them that a woman should dress in modest apparel, man. Alright? That's why these bitches, that's why these two-third niggas, that's why 50, they let them, I'm sorry, 50. That's, they let, 50 that's why they let their women do that shit. You gotta go get it. Okay? Uh -huh. That's why you let your women do that. Because you weak, you bowing down, yeah, I think that's bowing right. down to a, 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 Yeah, 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 that's it. Bowing down to a, a, a woman that has a period once a month. 16 to 18. Okay? Well, 17. And, and she's on her period, and she's all around you, hooking up on you, and, and, and she's bleeding everywhere, going to work, fucking bleeding everywhere. That's confusion, and that's disgusting, man. That's right. Yep. That's the law, man. That's, no, that's not order. Yep. Uh, uh, Psalms chapter 50, verse 16. It says, But unto the wicked, God said, What has thou to do to, do to declare my statutes? It says, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. Yep. Right. that bitch just say she a Christian, man. Right. And she'll say, she'll try to come up here and tell us about God. Right. Like, these bitches really think they're going to tell us about the Most High. 
Why they walk around with their titties out and fucking every man in the street, man? Shit, these bitches think they can save you. Yeah, them bitches think they're gonna save you. They're gonna touch, like that bitch on, um, bitch on the, um, with the titties out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Preaching with the breasts out and shit. I guess she never read that scripture the brother read about, Modest Apparel. No, keep reading that though, huh? There's more to that. It says, seeing thou has, seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my word behind thee. Right, now, going back, now they policies, man. They ain't listen to the most high policies, that's why the most high gonna destroy them. They cast the most high policies or his laws out and brought they own in this damn feminism bullshit where a woman is equal to a man and she can fuck whoever how many ever women how many ever men she want just like a man can have sex with whatever woman he want long as she don't got a husband so they feel like they can be men with the added bonus of having titties and ass <laughs> bonuses man. it's a bonus yeah it's a bonus in this society man you know, right. they, they feel like they could be a man and have the bonus of titties and ass and a, and a, and a pretty face, man. They use that women, they use that women is when, whenever they need it, man. When they be in distress, then they, all of a sudden they helpless and shit. You know? When it's time to get a job or whatever, it's okay, you know. I'm equal to a man, this and this and that. I'm equal to this guy. I should get equal pay. I should get equal faith. You know what I'm saying? That nigga but, breaking the house. But, that's right, that's right. When that motherfucker breaking the, the house, like the brother just said, she looking toward the man. Wait a minute, I thought you was equal. Handle that damn fucking robber on your own, man. Go head up. Yeah. Right, just tell, tell your husband, like, man, just, you know, stay in the... I got this. Yeah, I got this, man. Stay in the bed, honey. I got this. Get your ass mopped, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's what you say, man. It tells you, it, it gives you the difference between a man and a woman. Like the scripture also says, a woman should not wear the apparel of a man. That which pertains to a man. Ooh, I got scripture. You know what I'm saying? But what, what did they do? They let women into the uh, into the military, man. Right? What is what is one of the things that pertains to a man? Whoa. Especially in the army, is what armor. You know, whether, you know, whatever they, you know, guns or whatever, whatever, they're not supposed to be wearing that, man. So they're not supposed to be, oh, who's that lady? Uh, it was some chick in the military, she came out, and she said, uh, not mistaken, she said, she believes women shouldn't be up in the, uh, in the military, man. And she was in the military. She said she just had to be honest because she's having comp uh, compilations, uh, I'm sorry, complications, you know, where, you know, uh, with, uh, with her body, she can't even have kids, man. She's barren now. She said because of the strenuous work of uh, actually being in the military and having to pass a certain, you know, different physical tests. And it fucks up their minds, too. It fucks up their minds, too, exactly. They can't deal with a man after that shit, man. They say the women, man, when they get into that deep combat, they just get back into their regular state, man. Bitches, man. Straight up. You got a woman up there with an AK-47 trying to go ahead and be, you know, commando. And she on her motherfucking period. Cramping up and shit. And also, also, exactly, cramping up. Also, they brought out that um, when they have a woman in the army, and she's, you know, in the infantry, if she gets hurt, there's a certain psychological thing that happens with the other soldiers, man, that... If another yeah. another man is hurt, they're gonna automatically go to her. It's just a mental psychological thing to help out the woman first. Basically, what happens is society, it weakens man. the army. Yeah, it's because it's of this fucking society, yeah, man. They put their the whole woman so high on the pedestal. Mm -hmm. yep. They have to actually cater to her on the battlefield, man. Right? She break a damn nail, it's over. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it weakens it weakens the military, man. Right? You don't see them Arabs over there with women in their army, man. <laughs> I want to see that one. Yeah, you the women getting raped in the army, too. A lot of they getting raped more. The women are getting raped yeah. more and more in the army. That's right, that's right. But well, let's be real, they just giving it up, man. A lot of them bitches be giving it up, man. You, know, you hear about those guys, man. They, say, they talk about uh, the women in the military. They'll be on, on campus, I mean, not campus, but uh, on base. 
Fucking selling everybody. ass, man. Fucking everything. Fucking everybody, man. I heard the damn stories. I heard all the stories, man. I heard the stories from first hand from my homeboy that was in the military. Mm -hmm. Telling me about that shit. I got stupid though, man. Yeah, about these damn stupid yeah. ass women. It's like, it's like, I say something about Go ahead. It's like back in high school with the, the woman with, with the football players. They always hang around the football players and, Josh, and yep. fuck them all, yeah. That's what they go to the army for, so they can do the same it's thing. The same thing. On a grown up level. Same thing. Yeah, I got two scriptures before what the brother said. Uh, Sirach 26 and 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when she had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Well, what you, now, what do you think her quiver is? Her quiver is a damn a monkey, man. That's right. All right. What you what do you mean? She will open her her uh her quiver against every arrow. It means every man that want hit, gonna hit. She gonna let it happen. And that's how it do. That's how they do in America. So whatever man they think cute, he gonna hit. Why you think in the ancient days the most I had it to where the father will pick a husband for the daughter. Because the father will pick a wife. He, he, will be, he will be logical and wise enough to pick her a good husband and not just let her, he, let, let every man hit her that, that she think is okay on the first date. Because women, they need guidance, man. That's why you women in America, you don't want to fucking admit it. That's why you want a husband, man. That's why you don't want to be lonely because you need guidance from a man. It ain't just because you want a man to, to fuck you. You want a man to guide you, man. A woman needs a man to guide her. I'm go now. This next scripture um, is Sirach chapter 26, verse uh, 22. It says, "A harlot shall be accounted as spittle." All right, and I'm gonna skip down. Yeah, verse 25. It says, "Yep." A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. That's why we call them bitches. You talking about, hey, why you say bitch? She's a fucking dog, man. And a female dog is a bitch. A bitch is a word just like dog is a word. It says, but she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of all. But she that dishonoreth him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all minute right. that's what america pushes an ungodly woman man one that don't honor her husband you got these women talking about some damn feminism but they don't need a man all right like the most High made a mistake when he made adam all right and he made her for adam like he made a fucking mistake so any woman that dishonor but well, i'm gonna go as far as to say this any woman that dishonored her husband dishonored her husband and the Most High. Because you go like the Most High made a mistake. But that's what America pushes. That's the policy of Esau in America. To push dishonor of your husband. Like your husband's supposed to honor you, but you're not supposed to honor your husband. And the Most High said that that's wicked, that's ungodly, and you count it as a dog, man. All right? If y'all want to bring out that other one in Ezra, no, but you got it, you ready? You got it? You got Ezra? Go ahead. Yeah, so, right, so, you know, that's what America pushed, this, this feminism shit about a woman is equal with a man. She can have sex with whoever she wants to. That's why a lot of you women that had sex with so many men, you get them fucking cellulites on the back of your leg. I believe that shit is true too about women that have sex with a lot of men. They get that damn cellulite with a lot of different men. I done seen some fat girls, like some big girls that ain't had that shit. I done seen skinny girls that be having sex with a bunch of men. They got all that damn cellulites on their legs, man. I believe that shit is true, going back to the scriptures, man. You got, you got the, all right, go ahead. That's what also happened, sorry, but uh, what you're saying, man, um, women 
too, men in debt that sleep with a lot of men, a lot of different men. You got a lot of different rides and stuff in you, man. What happens is these women start to get cervical cancer, man. Right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Because if you go into it, man, when a woman is dealing with a man, and he's, you know, he's doing, you know, they're having sex, her, 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 basically, she conforms, her pussy conforms to that man's rod, man. And it's, it's basically, you know, it, uh, it's used to that one rod. Now, if you put something else in there, maybe a little longer or wider, whatever, you're basically, you know, stretching it out, doing this or whatever, and you can't be putting, like, different rods into a woman, man, because her body, it's hard to explain, man, but her body... Chemistry, too, man. It's the chemistry, right? It's spiritual, too, but basically it's supposed to just be one... It's supposed to conform to that one um, rod, man. And it knows, it's real sensitive, right? And it, uh, it was a woman, she was going into it, that the woman gets cervical cancer because all different type of rods going into that woman, right? Different type of sperm going different up Different type there. of sperm? That's what it was. It was, the, it was the sperm. Different type of men's sperm because that's different DNA, right? That's why it says when you get with a woman or whatever, you have to become one. This bitch is coming one with everybody, right? Okay. That's, oh, that's why you niggas wonder why she wants you to pop her in the, in the booty hole because her, her shit is all fucking uh, scratched out. Right. That's why you niggas are faggots, man. You, you, that's why you stick to that general Johanna type of sex sex lifestyle. That sodomite lifestyle. Okay? So read that 31 verse 22. How long would thou go about, O, o thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. Woo! Okay. A woman. A fucking woman? Who bleeds every fucking month? Who wears tight shit walking up and down the street? Big ass? You shit? These the bitches you, you niggas want to bow down to. She, she'll fuck two football team equivalent of rods, man. And then she'll want you to bow down to her and serve her and treat her like a queen. Okay? What the fuck is on her crown? A piece of rod on her crown? You got a strip job. Dumbass heathens. This uh, this to compare, this to contrast to what he's saying. This um, uh, Isaiah chapter 12, verse uh, 12. It says, "I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the Ophir, than the golden wedges of Ophir." Man is precious, man. A man is precious. And the most high, he wants his men to lie down with virgins. Sluts. What the fuck are you? Okay? Virgins. Tight pooch. Nobody ran up in it. Okay? But you niggas, you like that shit, man. You like three, four niggas running up in your women and, and, and you going after them. You got another scripture, man. Okay. Isaiah chapter 3, verse uh, 9. They show up their countenance, do a witness against them. I started verse 8. Um, for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is falling because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. The show of their countenance do a witness against them and they declare their sin as Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the, the righteous that it shall be well with him. For they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and to destroy the way of thy paths. The Lord standeth up to plead, and standeth to judge the people. 
The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten the vineyard, the spoil of the poison in your houses. What mean ye that ye bent, that ye beat my peace, my people to pieces? And gird the faces of the poor, said the Lord God of hosts. Yeah, Whoa. Man, our people are beating oh pieces God, too, man. Skirt. Can you play a song for me? Oh, oh, you're you're gonna gonna play play song. Our people are beat the pieces too, man. <laughs> we just saw a cat up here trying to tap dance for some crackers, man. <laughs> yeah. That, that had a, a shirt and, a, and a, a fucking hat that said uh, Sugar Daddy or some Big Daddy or some shit, man. Tap dancing. And Yellow and red, man. <laughs> Yeah, looking like a damn clown. Catch up your red hot dog, man. Catch, you know what I mean? So, our people are beating pieces, man. Right? It says, moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched foot necks and wanton eyes, walking and menacing as they go. And making a twinkling with their feet. Stretch forth next, man. Yep. Proud. That's why that you don't like bitch came up in front of the camera. She she liked the dudes, man. Yeah. She liked it us, man. She's wanton. She's proud. He said he's gonna walk on with stretch forth next, man. All these women got that stretch forth neck, that proud spirit, right? Wait a minute, the brother brought out that these women are supposed to be shamefaced, right? Everything they bought. Shamefaced. This looks shamefaced. These, these bitches know they, these bitches think they bad, man. They think they bad, man. They're not shamefaced, man. Them, them women don't, don't respect men, you can tell, man. When you read in the book of Ruth, man, it said that she dropped down to her knees, man, and worshiped Boaz, man. When the, hey, brother, when the last time you, you had a woman drop down to your knees? Never had worship, that shit, man. I never had that, man. They all just want attention, man. Uh, Straight up. Keep going on. Oh, shit. How dumb this nigga is. All right, it says, moreover the, Lord, the, moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes. Man, haughty. What does a haughty mean, all right? Proud, man. Lift it up. High minded. Yep. It, it says wanton, man. What does wanton, wanton mean? Wanton eyes. Undisciplined. We undisciplined, man. Like the bitches just came up. Undisciplined. You know? So these bitches coming around, they with their men. They looking, they looking back and forth with the brothers and shit, man. But you walking with your men. Undisciplined like a motherfucker, man. He, he's snagging on behind. You know why man. they undisciplined, though? Because. You can't discipline them in this country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you, know, you can't discipline them, man. Women are basically just overgrown. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit. There you go right there. Damn, let me hurry up and get that shit. They walk with stretch for necks, man. Look at that shit. Yeah, that's stretch for They walk with stretch for necks. She's like a damn giraffe, man. She's so damn straight. She's so damn proud, man. They are built on this. They are built on this. Cause really that's talking about the, like, the black woman, man. <laughs> yep. Really that's talking about the Negro woman, man. Yep. Judite woman, man. They yep. undisciplined, man. Yeah. It says, yeah, it ahead, they walk with stretched foot necks and wanton eyes, walking and menacing as they go. Walking and menacing as they go, man. Like the brother had just showed. You know? They got the little clack, 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 trying clack, to get you. Clack. Mm -hmm. With their heels and the stuff, I trying know. to get your attention. That's really what that is, y'all. They got the heels here to make them look, you know, taller. Have a, a, yeah, taller. With the calves. With the, yeah, with the calves. The ass stick out. The posture with the ass stick out. Yup, exactly. But it's basically supposed to mimic a horse. Clacky clack. Because when your horse walk, what does it do? It makes that little, you know, clacky clack sound. It's attention, man. Huh? It's like, 
I'm here. Y'all hear me? I'm here. I'm coming. <laughs> That's basically what it's for. You see when they get in that bad bitch spirit? You know, like that Beyonce, that bad bitch spirit, they get to the swinging that shit real hard. That shit, they, 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 the clack can get louder, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. Is that it? Yeah. No, no. He says, and making a twinkling with their feet. Therefore, that said the, um, therefore the Lord was smite with a scab, the crown of the head smite. of the daughters of, of Zion. The scab for the crown of the head for the daughters of Zion, man. What is that scab on the head? <laughs> the baldness, man. And, and, and how did they do that? Was it just like, okay, I'm just make them all bald? No hair. No, that comes from us just continuing from our heritage, man. Right? Because Amos, that was uh, lack of knowledge. Jose, right? Jose three and four, yeah. Four and six. Four and six, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. You're right. Jose four and six. Get that, get that, out. Right? You know what I mean? Because you understand, man. It, it tells you that these women are actually supposed to cover their head up, eat the right foods. You know what I mean? How to take care of their head out? Not saying, hey, deal with one man. Deal with one man. You know what I'm saying? Under the husband. So that's your punishment, man. Actually just continuing from your heritage. That's a punishment, man. They lost that knowledge of how to take care of their fucking head. Exactly, man. How to take care of their, their body and their hair. That's right. I'll be real, man. My mom. You got it? Bring it out. Bring it out. This is a wreck nine. And one, be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom, and teach her not an evil lesson against thyself. Right. Give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy substance. Right. Right. Yeah, hold that scripture again. You have to bring it out again. It's old. Uh, Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, right? Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject me. I will also reject me. So that's why a woman got that, you know, Ball head. that scab on, on the head, man. That bitch don't know how to take good care of her damn self, man. That's right. Because she departed from the laws of the most high. Exactly, time. man. Exactly. She, she trusting in this fucking white man, the devil, her enemy, to, to, buy, to sell all these damn chemicals to put in a stupid ass head. Right. And that shit burn all the damn hair out. That's right. Not that's why you yep. that's why you got no fucking hair. Because you departed from the the precepts of the most high God. Mm -hmm. No? Go ahead. That's right. Most high didn't tell you to dye your hair, man. To where it's, it's it's bone straight now. You know, permanent, whatever they saying, you know. You're not supposed to do that, man. And then what do they do? They put these little lace, what is it called? Lace, lace wigs. wigs. Yeah, lace so your wigs. damn hair, hair can't, your fucking scalp can't breathe. Your hair. You tear your hair right off, man. Your hair right off. Put that weave in it, that fake weave, and that shit tear out all of the edges and shit. And I gotta do something. You put somebody else's hair in your head. on your head, man. Somebody else's DNA on top of your motherfucking head. Man. But you a bad bitch, though. <laughs> But you a bad bitch and we lame. Nah. Uh, um, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 18. Oh, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Oh, man. And the Lord will discover their secret parts, man. What's that? Hey, that's, that's Proof what, is in the pudding out here. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Who's watching? Who's seen that all night? Mm -hmm. Right? Bitches keep on pulling down their skirt and shit. If you gotta do that, Shouldn't be wearing it. Gee, yeah. <laughs> dude. Sorry, bro. Just gotta come up to the hips. Come down to the hips. Mm -hmm. This is. 
And that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their twinkling ornaments about their feet and their calves and their round tires like the moon. And they round tires <laughs> like the moon, man. What's that? All these bitches got that fucking pot belly, man. Every last bitch you see. Why? Because, hey, they discontinue from, the, from, the, um, from their heritage, man. Eating all the fucking wrong food. Some are going over their waistline and stuff like that. Knowing they shouldn't do that because a woman retains more body fat, man. It's easy for her to do that just because, you know, to bear children. So they really should be up on it. But you can't tell them nothing, though, man. It's a bit like you said, said they're bad bitches, man. Right? Bad bitch departed from the law. That's right. Now she a bad fat bitch. Eating all that damn pork, which ain't good for yep. you. Until she gonna get a, a fucking dead bad bitch, man. Now you wondering why you got the pudgy belly. Why you all puffy and shit. You wondering why, because we done told you the damn Levitical laws on how to eat, what you can eat and what not to eat. Mm -hmm. But you ain't listen. You said the most high. I ain't listening to what them funny niggas on the corner saying. I'm going to listen to what this white man say. Right. That's why your ass going to be fat and out here with them little skirts on, looking like who did it and got away with it. You know? Oh, it's Omri. Okay, it says, Amen. the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. The rings and the nose rings. The rings and the nose rings. The changeable suits basically, of apparel. Basically all this stuff that makes these women proud, man. Right? And the mantles and the wimples and the crimping pins. Crisping pins, I meant. Crisping, yeah. The glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. He's going to take every damn thing. <laughs> and it shall come to pass that in, instead of, of sweet smell, there shall be stink, mm -hmm. and instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of a well-set hair of baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a girdling of sackcloth, and a burning, instead of a beauty, they, um, thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty men in war, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. So y'all go back in your place, on the fucking ground, and, and uh, in, in a low level, and um, if y'all can, that scripture, seven men, seven women shall take hold of one man's hand, saying only call us by thy name. What I heard about the other, right? That be the shit out of heaven. I'm done with this. Yeah, it says Zechariah. Huh? I think that's says Zechariah, is it? Oh, no, four. Oh, it says Isaiah four. Oh, it is. It's the next chapter. Yep. It's the next chapter, right? Yep. Yeah, go yeah. read that. Yeah, read that for me. Isaiah 4 and 1. And that, and that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We go will ahead. eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Go ahead. Only let us be called by thy name. See, and that, well, no, keep going. To take going. away our reproach. Take away our reproach. Go ahead. It says, <laughs> And that day, the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and come. Keep going. For them that are escaped of Israel, and it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Keep going. Even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Go ahead. When the Lord shall wash shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. God damn, the most I said that he had to wash away the filth from the daughters of Zion, man. Now I mean Israel as a nation, it means the daughters of is the women of Israel. Solely. Solely the women. The most is gonna have to wash away your filth, man. Yeah, and that's not talking about getting baptized in some fucking dirty fucking water in the churches, man. It said by the spirit of fire, by the spirit of judgment, and by the spirit of fire, man, these nuclear missiles. A lot of you dumb so-called bad bitches.